It's what German dreams are made of. You'll even get a reply from Santa yourself. We're Matt and Nat, a part-time non-remote travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. In 2021, we visited all 50 U.S. states. 2022 took our adventures abroad. Now we've set out on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Well, before we die. In our last video, we were wrapping up our Ireland series in the city of Cork, where we visited the Blarney Castle and kissed the famous Blarney Stone, tasted our way through Ireland's oldest food market, and ended our day with live music and Irish dancing. This week, we're exploring the Christmas markets in Cologne, Germany. Before we get into the video, we want to thank today's sponsor, Gonex. If you're a carry-on or hand luggage only traveler like we tend to be, then you know just how valuable space in your luggage can be. So when we find a product that helps us utilize that space to the fullest, we are all about it. And that is exactly what the Gonex compression packing cubes do. We've been using packing cubes for years now, and some of the things that stand out on the Gonex packing cubes for us are the anti-rip mesh panel on the front that allows you to see the items inside the bag, which is super convenient, and the heavy-duty but lightweight zippers that make easy work of compressing even the largest loads. And with all of that space that you save in your luggage, you'll have room to bring back souvenirs for the whole family. <laughs> so maybe the whole family would be a bit of a stretch, but if you do find yourself needing some extra space for all of the gifts that you bought during your travels, the Gonex Canvas Duffel Bag has you covered because in addition to being made to the same high-quality standards as the pack cubes, it has expandable sections on each end that give that little bit of extra space when needed. So whether you're packing for a weekend getaway or a two-week holiday, be sure to check out Gonex Compression Packing Cubes and Canvas Duffel Bag and click the links down in the description to purchase yours today. Thanks so much to Gonex for sponsoring this video. Welcome, Welcome to, to Cologne. Cologne! Or as they would say in German, Willkommen in Köln. There are many things to love about this city. Some of those things would be the iconic cathedral which you see back behind us, the delicious local Kolsch beer, or if you're here at the right time of the year like we are, the Christmas markets. There are more than a dozen markets scattered throughout the city, but today we're going to be taking you to six of the most popular of those markets. And if you'd like more information on any of these markets, or you'd like to recreate our itinerary, then check out our blog. We'll link that down in the description. But we're starting things off at the most popular Christmas market in the city, the Christmas market at the Cologne Cathedral. Or as they say in German, Weihnachtsmarkt am Kölner Dom. Let's go check it out. on a Thursday? This is wild. <laughs> is. I thought it would be a lot less people in there. It's packed. so good though. Starting things off right with some hot glue vine, which is hot mulled wine. This is red wine. Mm -hmm. You can get it in white wine at some of them as well. Or even rosé. Yeah, the wine itself is 450, but then there's also a three euro find or a deposit essentially. Mm -hmm. So if you return your mug, you get that three euros back. If you want to keep Ooh, these mugs, keep they're kind of cool souvenirs and they're different every year and different at every market. So if you're a collector of mugs, you can get some pretty cool ones here for three euros. Also can Cash is king at these Christmas markets, that so is. make sure you bring a lot of it. <laughs> most popular Christmas market, but it is also one of the largest with 150 stalls. Yep, and it's really cool. It's all very much themed since it is right in the shadows of the Cologne Cathedral. Every stall has like a little cutout lit up of the shape of the cathedral. It's just, it's really cool. Now when it's the largest, just make sure you're prepared for the crowds because there are a <laughs> lot of them. It is the largest and the busiest. <laughs> So we 
could have spent much longer at that market, but if we're gonna get to all six markets that we're trying to get to before the end of the night, we gotta get a move on it, so let's go. <laughs> So we're at our second Christmas market, which is Heinz's Wintermärchen. Or Heinz's <laughs> Fairy Tale Winter Market. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Something close to that, I think. It's woodland themed with lots of gnomes from what we understand. And it's one of the most like elaborately decorated of the markets from what we've heard. And so. it's also the largest. Oh yeah. Via like, it square mass. Yeah. space. Yeah, I think it's about 140 stalls, so. Yeah, but it's much larger as far as space goes than the last market. Let's go check it out. <laughs> so many people. <laughs> People are on stilts. <laughs> I love Christmas markets, and honestly, this Christmas market is one of my favorites so oh, yeah, far. It's pretty incredible. It's so cool. They even have a little Ferris wheel. So at this Christmas market, they actually have a Christmas post office. So if you want to write a letter to Santa, and you'll even get a reply from Santa yourself. Is that what you're in line for now? And that is what I'm in line for. I'm uh, praying I get some big items. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They even have little stamps that say Cologne Christmas Market. So I'm gonna see if maybe we could get like a couple postcards, I don't know. And speaking of postcards, we wanna thank every single name down below. Without you guys, we would not be able to do this channel. It helps us with upgrades, with new gear, all that kind of stuff. So we really wanna say thank you and Merry Christmas. If you're interested in becoming part of our Patreon family, check out the link down in the description. They have butter biscuits. We just got a little sample. Mm -hmm. And they make them in the shape of the Cologne Cathedral. Mm -hmm. Or in the shape of gnomes to fit the theme of this market. Let's give them a try. Oh my gosh, and they're still warm. Mm, so buttery. Mm. Crispy, those are really good. I think I might have to buy a bag. The only souvenirs that we ever bring home are food <laughs> items, and this might be one of them. Those are good. Say that I love Christmas markets so much. My heart is so happy. <laughs> and this is only our second one. We got four more to go. <laughs> We got Reibekuchen with sour cream. It's traditional to get the apple, but I like the sour cream better, so. Mm. Mm. Sour cream crumb fast. So good. If you're unfamiliar with what Ribohukin is, like I was, it is essentially, oh, you just got it in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Ribokuchen is essentially what we would think as Americans like hash browns and they are crispy and delicious served with different sauces on the side. They also have like a beet sauce, they also have cranberries and also applesauce which yes. is really popular. That's the traditional way to do it. Can't go wrong with Ribokuchen. It's so crispy. Such yeah. a fan. This is a must when you come to the German Christmas market so. It's gotten dark honey. <laughs> I tried to find some Kolsch beer, but I couldn't find any in like the vicinity. Yeah. So Glühwein it is. Glühwein it and is. look at the little mugs. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, I like those mugs. Close. And also that was the first one that I saw where you could actually pay with a credit card. Oh, really? And I was like, how does this work with a card? They give you a token and then you get the three euros back. Market, they have ice skating, which we really wanted to do. It was like 10 euros per person, yep. but I just don't think we'll have enough time. <laughs> and then they also have curling, which we checked into as well. 128 euros, so <laughs> if you have a group of people, I think it would be perfect. Yeah, I think so. But you also need to book that pretty far in advance from what I understand. We looked yesterday and there were only two time slots left for the rest of the evening so tonight. So we'll put all that information down in the blog if you want to check yeah. it out. So 
we just got Handbrot. We got the Käse und Schinken, which is ham and cheese. And they put like this little dollop of creme fraiche on it. I am so oh. excited about this. It's really hot and coming out of both sides. So, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Is it everything mm. we dreamed it would be? You're not gonna like it. I'll just finish it for the both of us. <laughs> Well, going in for a second bite. Amazing. 750 euros. Favorite thing I've had here so far. Oh, yeah. I just want to hold it because my <laughs> hands are so cold. Oh, man. The bread, so crispy on the outside, but like fluffy and chewy on the inside. The ham and cheese is like the perfect amount of saltiness. And of course, you can see just how melty that cheese is. Delicious. I'm with Nally. I think this might be the favorite thing we've had yet. Got a little pepper with that one. <laughs> only suggestion to places like this is to maybe have a Kolsch beer stand right next to it. Because honestly, that would just be perfect. I am so wishing that we had time to go ice skating. So if you do, please let us know that you went down in the comments. <laughs> to many Christmas markets, but this by far is the busiest Christmas market yes, we've ever been it to. It is wild how busy it is. <laughs> I will say, if you watched any of our Christmas market videos from last year, you remember that there was no seating and definitely nowhere undercover or inside. Mm -hmm. This market has so much indoor space and yeah. places to sit and actually tables to set up and eat, so thumbs up to that. So I am so excited about this. This is called the Christmas Market Train Express or something yep. like that. And it takes you from yep. each of the Christmas markets. There's only four stops, so you do have to do a little bit of walking. Yep. Book ahead of time, so we'll put all that info below. And you could walk in between, but it's a whole lot more fun to hop on a little tram. And it's pretty much like a hop on, hop off from what we understand. Mm -hmm. And it comes through about every 15 minutes, so. And they also have an English or a German audio guide plus Christmas music. <laughs> All right, so something kind of annoying. <laughs> the guy said that there was an accident on the streets, so the train well, wasn't gonna yeah. be coming. So his suggestion was just to walk yeah. or wait well, 30 to 40 minutes. Amount of time. <laughs> so we hadn't really planned for this amount of time to get between the markets, and we spent way too long at that last market because it was absolutely awesome. So cool. Um, so now we're trying to book it on to market number three. <laughs> So after a swift 15-ish minute walk, we have now made it to the Cologne Harbor Christmas Market. Or as the Germans would say, Kölnerhan Weihnachtsmarkt. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> I'm trying my best. It's near the Schokolade Museum. Yep, and it's a maritime themed market. I'm already loving it because all of these markets have been like so right on theme mm -hmm. and this one looks really cool. These have sails, so white sails. They also yep. have like boats. I think three wooden boats yep. as stalls. So yep. I'm excited to see them. And a fair wheel. <laughs> First ever glue beer. What was it exactly? Hot gin cider. And oh. I asked how to say it in German, and then he goes, hot gin cider. I said, all right, <laughs> perfect. Works for us. <laughs> It is very hot. Oh, that's delicious, though. Is it? Yeah, I'm that's excited. Nice. Is, that techni is that considered glue beer? It's, it's a cider, right? Said it. Well, there's beer in it, so that's probably why. Oh, okay, hot, gotcha. Hot, hot, hot. What you think? It's nice, isn't it? I love glue beer. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know I'm not a huge wine drinker, so the glue vine is good because it's cold and windy and it keeps your hands warm, but I think I like glue beer better. <laughs> I'm thinking we should see if we can get on this Ferris wheel. <gasps> How romantic! Will they, will they let us take the drink they on there? They probably would. Let's we'll ask. Go, let's go ask. Okay. Let's see. My breath. Uh, it's five bitter. Yeah. Danke schön. You get chocolate and you get to bring your drink on. Now you wish you would have brought one. <laughs> I also want to say that I packed way better this trip than I did on the last Christmas market tour. I brought hand warmers this time, so I'm going to put a full list of all of the things that are keeping me warm and not cranky in our blog. So make sure you go check that out. <laughs> This is awesome! We're stomped at the top and we're also lopsided since we're both sitting on one side. And this has got like a open at the top so you can feel the breeze coming in. Yeah, for sure. I Absolutely. love it. How many times is that? Oh, it's 
that number three or four? I think three. Not bad. What, nine euros a person? That was so romantic and fun. Definitely recommend that. Yeah, that was nice. Especially if you can take your drinks up there. <laughs> If you want to go to the bathroom here in Europe, definitely bring money and change. This yes. one was 70 cents. Yeah, so. 70 cents. There's yeah. no way around it. <laughs> Worth every penny in my opinion. <laughs> This market is so cool. They have so many nautical themes and like gifts and crafts. Yeah, I love how different it is from the other markets with uh -huh. it being on the river. I heard the salmon here is delicious and all of the actual fish dishes are delicious. We're still full from our food <laughs> earlier and the little tram express train thing just got here. So we better get to it. <laughs> We're on. And the only ones on. <laughs> So I'm not gonna say that the level of customer service is like Disney World at all, <laughs> but um, we'll it's, get us there five this, to seven minutes faster than walking. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's been an experience. We walked up as one was literally sitting there. They looked at us and it just pulled off completely empty 20 minutes ago. And then while we waited. I was waving my tickets to him, but another 15 and he said, "What do you want?" <laughs> he said, "We have tickets." So yeah, I don't know if I would highly recommend it. I would it, recommend it for the convenience and it's. It's like fun, especially if you have kids and you don't want to walk and stuff. Yeah, and if you're not on like any kind of time crunch, because we still have three markets to get to. And it's getting a little late. It's getting a little late, guys. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see. There was no mention that headphones would be needed for the holiday music or tour guide at all, so. <laughs> yeah, they're right here. You just need headphones. Again, can't say we would highly recommend it. Maybe, maybe barely <laughs> recommend it. <laughs> It might get us from point A to point B. We'll see. Maybe safely. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe. You guys know us, we try to make the best of every single situation. So I had Christmas music going, we were singing, everything was fun, until we about face planted into this glass because yes. something. Because um, there are no seat belts. I wouldn't recommend going and being the last ride of the night because he's ready to go home. Yes. And that's and he's it. He's driving like he's ready to go uh -huh. home. Uh huh. So, My yeah. knees took the blunt of that. Dang. My gosh. That was awful. Yeah, that's rough. I mean, literally screeching tires because uh -huh. he slammed on the brakes. There's Whew. that. So, don't. Don't book this. Just take public transportation or walk. Yeah. We were just trying to be festive and uh -huh. have a good time. <laughs> yeah. And I can see maybe why other people don't book it. I don't know. <laughs> We made it, thank God and praise God, which makes sense because we're here at the Angel Market, or as the Germans would call it, Macht at Enge. I'm just glad to be off of that little trolley, so let's go explore this market. which I don't know what that's about. No. I got a Heise Schokolade, which is like a hot chocolate, and an Eierpunsch. Yeah, Eierpunsch, which uh -huh. is eggnog, right? I think so. Yeah. So cheers. So, We've never gotten cheers. either of these at a Christmas market before, so. <laughs> hot. How's that? It's okay. <laughs> Let's give this a try. I think it's going to take a lot to get through the cream on top. Oh, that is very boozy. The most boozy eggnog I've ever had. I think it's good. I gotta get past the heat and uh, this cream first. Let me try it again. It is very hot. Flavor's really good. I will say it's probably a little boozier than I would prefer it, but it'll keep me warm. Giving Natalie's hot chocolate a try. Where is it? It still hasn't come. Whew, I tried that boozy eggnog, it burnt my esophagus. It's hot, isn't it? Oh my god, and very Ooh. boozy, I don't know about it. So we're getting a Colnell Dom waffle, so it looks like the cathedral in waffle shape. So we're getting a waffle in the cathedral shape. The 
they shysted me with the old cup. 2021. <laughs> hey, it's a collectible now, maybe. <laughs> I love anything with powdered sugar and carbs. And the waffle is cooked nicely. Mm -hmm. The dough is not too sweet, so the powdered sugar is a nice touch of sweetness that you need. Probably super touristy, I'm but sure. I'm a tourist. It's warm and that's really mm -hmm. all that matters right now. It's a little cold out here. A little bit about this market. It's a lot smaller, it's in one little square, but I am loving all of the decorations hung from the trees, so the stars, the lights. I do like how bright and white everything is. I mean, mm -hmm. it is the angel market after all, so it kind of goes for that ethereal kind of vibe to it. It's just more romantic than some of the other markets, especially with the lights hanging from they the They even trees. have angels like walking around at yeah. 5.30, I believe they even have like an angel on a horse that yeah. rides around the market, which I think is so cool. Yeah, but with it being smaller, it is absolutely packed. I would say it's probably been the busiest one we've been to yet, as so far, far as just shoulder to shoulder, given all of them have been crazy busy, but. <laughs> I really like it. I love the angel theme. I'm not the biggest fan of my air punch or whatever it's called. Not that I dislike it, not my favorite. Definitely not a drink that you chug because I just tried to like down it so we could return our cups and head to the next market and that ain't happening, guys. which is also known as the Village of St. Nicholas. As you can guess, it is very much themed for St. Nicholas and we're excited to check it out. Now this one is the most family friendly. They have a lot of free activities for kids. St. Nicholas does carols with the kids every hour. So definitely recommend if you guys have children. But I hear there's a lot of fun for adults, so let's go check it out. This right here is where all the free activities happen with the kids. I love how whimsical all the lights are. Yeah, it's something neat about being under the trees like it is, all of the Santa Claus decor and the reindeer. It's a pretty cool spot. It's super cute. Yeah. wish we had like eight stomachs so we could eat everything at every single one of these Christmas markets. Yeah, it's just not possible guys. Everything looks delicious but mm -hmm. we only have so much room. I really that wanted some case of spetzel, <laughs> some oh, bratwurst. Yeah. The barbecue grill, oh. the, all the verse and everything looked amazing mm -hmm. but now we're gonna head to the last one. that the Europeans all stand on the right side and the left is for passing. That is pretty Just cool. makes sense. It really does. <laughs> to the sixth Christmas market, which is one of my favorites because of that baby. <laughs> it's the Advent Market, and it's the smallest one we've been to yet. It is one block, but we love the vibe of this place. It's incredible. All right, let's go get some drinks. <laughs> Did you hear me? I spoke German. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we could hear you. It's kind of loud. Zwei für Zangebolle. Something like that. These light on fire. I'm so excited. I think we're finding the smaller the market, the wilder it is. It really is. This one closes in like 30 minutes, but you win. I, I don't know no how it's idea. gonna close in 30 minutes. <laughs> also, we got Gersangenbola, which is blue vine with a flaming rum-soaked sugar cube that is then dropped in. Oh my gosh, I almost caught so many people on fire with that one. <laughs> I think all the hair on my right hand is singed. I had to blow mine out pretty quick. All right, close. <laughs> close. Oh, very nice. 
nice. I like it a lot. Yeah. If you watched our last Christmas market videos from Munich and Nuremberg, you saw that we had this for the very first time in Nuremberg. Oh my gosh. And this kind of became one of our favorites, and I think it still might be one of our favorite Christmas market drinks. Hence why we had to end the night with one of these. <laughs> and we're still not finished yet, so don't be don't be clicking off yet. These Germans know how to party. Man, a Thursday <laughs> night, y'all. I love it. <laughs> So I got the Kesa Krakauer, which is, from what I understand, a smoked sausage with cheese in it as well. Already loaded it down with Sam. Oh yeah, that is what German dreams are made of. And I got the curry burst. Oh my god, <laughs> so good. She stole a plate from my book, guys. I usually get curry burst, as you know. I saw somebody order it and I was like, that looks so good. <laughs> I'm excited because I get some broaching with it. Now, is yours hot? <laughs> oh man. I feel like my sausage or my wiener has been cooked for a little while. It's also boiled, not grilled, whereas Matt's ah, is grilled. True. But the sauce is warm. That curry sauce. There's a whim. I love this market. Those sausages were delicious. <laughs> absolutely chaotic it was so much fun and I got to practice some of my German she did I was very proud of her but yes that market is really great we enjoyed it even though it again was probably the most packed one that we've been to yet such a great time so now we're headed back to the hotel and the best part is we have to walk through the Dom <laughs> Cathedral Christmas market to get there and we can't wait to see it all lit up at night so let's go <laughs> Christmas gift shopping is the best here. <laughs> it is. Okay, this is way more beautiful at night. Oh yes, and way less crowded. Honestly, so, come towards win, the end win. of Christmas markets. <laughs> They're the best. Oh my gosh, look at that. Me squeezing through these markers with this giant backpack on. It's been a fun time. <laughs> the Cologne Christmas markets did not disappoint. They were honestly spectacular. They really were, but just like that, our whirlwind tour of the top six Christmas markets here in Cologne has come to an end. Which ones were your favorite? Um, right off the top of my head, I'm gonna say the Heinzels, uh, mm -hmm. the winter fairy tale woodland themed one, yeah. and this one here, the Cologne Cathedral Market. Totally agree with you. All <laughs> of them are a good time <laughs> waiting to happen. But we hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it, and if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button because we're on a journey to see as many of the 1,000 places to see before you die, before we die. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys want any more information, make sure you guys check out our blog. We'll link that down below. And we'll see you in our next vlog for more adventures. Well. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to say welcome. I'm sorry, okay. We kind of forgot that in Germany, everybody stares at you. So we just have to yeah. kind of get over that for a little bit. Having to get back used to that. <laughs> Oh Lord, my camera is heavy. My new camera <laughs> is heavy. Literally just took my hat off. And I mean, please, it gave me waves in my hair. That's how tight that hat was. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. <laughs> Hot hair for the win! Shoes off our <laughs> Carol's just from my phone. <laughs> we bring our own party. Yeah, we do. Information, get out of my way. <laughs>
Okay, so when we got here, we actually went to one of the Christmas markets to avoid jet lag. <laughs> and there was a choir and they were singing this song and it has gotten stuck in both of our heads for and, days now. And we found out, we tried to look it up, I think it's only a cologne thing. And it goes a little something like this. I don't know the words, Love the song. And that's it. Ta-da! Frohe Weihnachten. Oh, Frohe Weihnachten. No. <laughs> Merry Christmas. We love you guys. Thank you for watching our videos. You guys are the best. Yay.